Morning, everybody. It's 8.30 on Monday the 15th, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is video number 1406. And I remind everyone, if you don't subscribe to the channel, please do. Hit that like button or follow, and frankly, it costs you nothing, but it's very supportive of us. Okay, China seems to be the biggest piece of the news. Uh, unexpectedly lower... Uh, production numbers, um, a lowering of their rate by a half of a percent, um, really nothing overwhelming. Um, but uh, it also has shown a slowdown, and the chart on the screen is the oil. And uh, let me just open this a little bit further so you can see. Um we're right back at the low. The low here uh, eight days ago or seven days ago was 87.01. So far, today's low is 87.12. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'll show you what that line is across the uh, bottom here. And that is the tops, the breakout, and the blow-off high. So this is a breakout should be support, has been support. One, two, three, four, five. Um, it, it would not uh, it would not be unusual. I would not put it past China because you can't believe any of the numbers anyway. Um, if they're not trying to manipulate the price of oil lower so that they can get better pricing, especially with... Uh, they're good friends to the West, uh, the Russians, um, who, you know, China is a very situational, transactional kind of place. And so friends or not friends, uh, if they can drop the price of oil where nobody else is buying from them anyway, uh, that's a pretty big advantage. So you can see our oil is down almost five bucks. That's over 5%. Uh, but as I said, it's into this support and, you know, we'll see how long it holds down there. Um, Inflation Reduction Act passes. What a bunch of crap. The uh, taxes start immediately. The benefits don't come for two to three years. So that's, you know, your typical tax and spend from uh, the Democrats. Um, GSK, Gath, uh, GlaxoSmithKline, down again today. This is a stock that was $45 uh, about a month ago. Uh, they have that Zantac problem. And they split the stock five for four. So basically, they gave a 25% stock dividend. And uh, the stock is continuing to fall. It's trading right now 34.35, down another $1.68. Um, you know, this Zantec litigation, I guess, is pretty big because not only was it a drug, a prescription drug, but it went generic. So, uh, that seems to be a problem. The only news that I can find on it in the last couple of days is law firms asking if you want to sue. You know, that's the American way. Um, I, going in the other direction, uh, Verdian, V-R-D-N. Uh, this company has, uh, they reported um, results of a phase one and two trial for thyroid eye disease. Um, they... Uh, also reported earnings, which was a loss, uh, but they also gave great guidance uh, for the fact that they uh, have plenty of cash through next year. Uh, the stock closed Friday, 1473. Uh, this morning it's traded as high as 2195 on that news. Last is 2065, up 592 or 40%. No news on everybody's favorite meme stock, Bed Bath and Beyond, up another dollar twenty-eight, fourteen twenty-three, up ten uh, percent. Aramco says that they're gonna, they're they're ready 
to increase oil production. Uh, they also reported a monster number for growth. Um, and we'll see what happens there. I mean, you know, the stock has that huge short position in it. And um, I kind of feel like that's about it. Uh, Dollar General downgraded at BMO uh, to perform from outperform. Uh, you know, it's $250 down 1%. Um, and, uh, you know, everybody's talking about bringing um, manufacturing back here away from uh, China. And that's all well and fine. But the fact of the matter is, if, in case you haven't noticed, the unions which destroyed that manufacturing by pricing it out so high are now gaining a hold in a bunch of different industries. I'm not anti-union at all, uh, but, you know, let's call a spade a spade. Um, you know, they're a big contributor to that. And the Democrats are big contributors to the union. So, you know, this is pretty typical. As far as the market, uh, Dow Futures unchanged from about a half hour ago, down 194, uh, down about 65 in the NASDAQ, down about 26 in um, the S&P. And I just want to take a look at one thing quickly for you. Um, oil down five, gold on that decreased activity down 17 it was down 25 or 28 already um, and bitcoin this is what i wanted to see bitcoin and ethereum both down but bitcoin actually traded over 25,000, and we traded over 2,000 in ethereum this morning so they're backing down from that overhead resistance and the flight to safety goes right into the bonds up 27 30 seconds or about three quarters of a point all right everyone take it easy out there and be careful you know the this market is way overbought